So, Marcus, thanks very much for uh, joining us today on this special day. I know it's your birthday. Um, <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> So um, uh, I understand that for obvious reasons, both WEM and AQE will be virtual events this year. Um, yes. And that, of course, imposes um, a requirement on an organiser such as yourself to find a platform that meets the needs of the normal participants of WEM and AQE and, and hopefully other uh, people as well. So um, I've heard that you've got a fantastic platform set up for this year's events, which are 13th and 14th of October. Yep. Um, could you tell us about the factors that affected your decision and, and why this particular platform will be of advantage to participants? Yes, well, well firstly, uh, we've always done um, face-to-face -face events, so live events, but uh, this year due to COVID for obvious reasons, health and safety, we've had to go online. So we had to find a good platform um, to make sure that uh, visitors could interact, speakers could interact, and um, people could meet up with exhibitors as well. So um, we chose the Swap Card platform. Um, for those of you who don't know the Swap Card platform, um, it's a very good interactive tool. Um, as soon as you register for the event, um, you, you'll get a profile, you can see um, other uh, attendees, you can link in with them, meet them. You can see all the speakers, you can plan your day, you can see all the different presentations, you can plan which presentations and which talks you want to go to. Um, you can also uh, look at the exhibitor profiles. There's 150 exhibitors taking part in this virtual event, which is brilliant, great support from industry. Um, and as of today, um, it's what, three weeks or so before the show, um, you can actually link up with people, you can look at people's profiles, you can meet up with exhibitors online, you can ask them technical questions. You don't have to wait until the 13th and 14th of October to do all this. You can start planning your um, event now, you can start speaking to um, exhibitors, speakers and uh, other attendees right now. Uh, you can start linking up with them, networking with them from now up until the event and even after the event. So it's a brilliant platform. Um, everything we're doing on it um, is all uh, recorded as well. So the live events will also be recorded so um, visitors can watch the um, event time and time again up to about six months after the show. So if you've missed a uh, presentation, don't worry, you can come back and uh, view it again um, at your leisure that night, the next week, the next day. Um, six months later so do you just... have to be pre-registered in order to have that ability to watch uh, the presentations later or can, yes, you, can you register at any time um it's best to pre-register now um because after the uh 14th of october there'll be a paywall so okay. best to um register now you get all the everything's free so as soon as you're um, registered you have free attendance so right. best to start uh, planning now and don't wait until the 13th and 14th because you've got a lot of people to talk to. So how does that actually work? How, you know, once you've um, pre-registered, um, how will you find out who else is going and how will you um, arrange to talk to them or meet them or network with them? Oh, that's easy. Um, when, once you've registered, you'll be able to see all the other attendees. And so you'll see a rough profile of them, uh, company name, job title, their name and you can simply link in with them. Um, you won't have their uh, contact details straight away unless you link in with them. They have to accept your link and then you can network, start your networking. You can start um, contacting speakers and ask them questions before the conference. So even better. Okay, sounds good. A bit like Tinder for business. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Not that I don't know, obviously. <laughs> um, so... Um... For those people who are thinking of attending, how, how would you define the, 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 the work areas of those people that should attend? Is it the same as normal for a WEM and AQE or, or would you expand that definition? Well, I think you could probably expand it because we've got so much going on at, at this year's event. Um, running um, AQE, the Air Quality and Emissions Show, so there's 
uh, lots of information on uh, air quality networks, indoor air and public health, sensor technologies, climate change, low emissions monitoring, mercury, mercury and um, air emissions, uh, biogenetic uh, carbon measurement, that's on the air side. But then on the water side for WEM, water and wastewater monitoring, it's um, we've got a whole analytical um, part of the show, which is on uh, analysis and testing for microplastics, PFAS, uh, COVID analysis. And then we've got um, Oliver Greveson joining us again from YPAC, who's got his flow forum. He's got a, a net zero round table happening as well. And also um, there's topics on managing data and measuring techniques. So it's something for everybody, anybody who monitors, measures, tests, water, air should be coming along. Okay, so that covers everybody from uh, researchers, consultants, academics, um, process industries, people who are having to do compliance monitoring. Um, you've got the environmental, presumably environmental health officers in local authorities um, and, and the regulators as well. I know that some of the presentations are talking about uh, the regulations that apply to environmental monitoring. So. I, I guess it, you, you kind of say anybody who has um, an interest in environmental monitoring would, would be <laughs> ideal for this type of show. Absolutely. Yeah. From yeah. all industries, it's not just water companies or local authorities. It's anybody who needs to monitor, test air or water in, in their business. So that's yeah, it. yeah. And I, I imagine that um, as I spoke to some of the um, session organisers, and they've all told me that they're going to be very strict on timings because yeah. um, one of the features about this event is that people will be able to drop in and out of sessions uh, so that they can pick those that are of most interest to them. And obviously timing is critical so that they can, uh, that they're going to be able to do that. Um, but um, if they, I mean, that will mean that the, you know, the chairman of each session We'll have to say, OK, we're out of time now. We need to move on to the next session. And that might mean that some of the uh, participants have questions that they haven't had the opportunity to ask. So will there be opportunities for them to ask those questions to the speakers and indeed with other experts that will be at the event? Absolutely. Uh, the speakers have said they'll uh, guarantee some time to answer these questions individually. So that's no problem at all. So. Um, if you haven't had time to pose your questions during the live event, um, you can do that afterwards. And don't forget, um, if you've missed a session or a session clashes, it's all recorded. So you can go back into the system mm. and look at other sessions which might be on at the same time as your chosen one. So mm. Yeah, mm. don't worry, there's a, an awful lot of information here which uh, delegates and attendees can go back to at their own leisure. So yeah, please. Okay. Sounds good. And, and presumably that will also mean that, I mean, I, I know in the past, um, the fact that the event has been physically present in the UK has meant that some people in some parts of the world haven't been able to come because of the cost and um, inconvenience of having to travel. But now, of course, those, those barriers are, are no longer there. So I guess you're anticipating a larger international participation. Absolutely. We've already had uh, over 22 different countries register for the event already. Mm. And so we only just opened up registration. So, mm. you know, we're really pleased with how that's going and the international um, interest in the show. So good news. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds great. I'm really looking forward to see how it goes. So um, presume, well, will you be adopting this format going forward with future WEM and AQE shows? Um, Yes uh, and no. Um, it's going to be a hybrid. Okay. And so we'll have the live event um, and also we'll have, um, we'll tape record it. We'll have it also um, as a, you know, people can watch it online at the same time. So again, we'll be aiming to attract people who can't um, attend physically in the future as well, or they live abroad or work abroad. So yes, so we're looking to expand on the event and make it a hybrid. For right. And is that in 2020? 2022, yes. <laughs> next year, yes. Next year. <laughs> It'll come around very quickly, don't, don't yes. you worry. So next year, it'd be the best of both worlds. Absolutely, yes. Fantastic. Okay, that's fantastic. Thanks very much for your time, Marcus. And looking no forward problem. to the event. Great. See you soon. Cheers.